Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Car Remote Homes and Caravans and they've allowed me kindly to film. What am I going to be filming? I'm going to be filming a brief review of this. It's the Adria Adora Sane. The Sane is a four birth caravan with twin beds, so this might be something you're interested in. This is following on from my review of the Adria Adora Isonzo that I did. So very similar caravans, but there are some differences. So what are those differences? Well, the Adora range was recently revamped a couple of years ago, and it brought along some really good changes internally and externally. So I have a quick run through of the facts and figures before we have a look. So first of all, price wise, this is the 2023 price which is going to be £31,805. So it's a considerable step up from where it has been. In terms of size, the Seine, it's seven feet and seven inches wide. And in terms of its length, it's eight meters and 19 centimeters. So it is a little bit shorter than the Adora Isonzo. Let's have a look starting at the front. So new for the front, as I said, we've got this great big new front piece here on the front locker and we'll have a look at that shortly. We've got the new air diffusers that go up the sides there and we'll just take a look at those. So we can see that there. That's to improve the aerodynamics. And if you do want a tow cover on the front, new was the uh, groove there that allowed you to fit that, which wasn't there before. You had to get your dealer to do that. It is on the Alco chassis. And as you can see, it's got the long A-frame. This is standard with Adrian, pretty standard in Europe as well. The A-frame here is certainly much longer than you'll find from the UK manufacturers. The Alco hitch, that's a 100 kilo nose weight. And as you'll see, there is no ATC fitted as standard. That is standard again on the Adora range. So let's have a look in this front locker, as I mentioned. So we'll lift this up. Now in here, we've got the spare wheel there. If you get the pack on the uh, Adoras, uh, you'll get various things, including your spare wheel. The space there for the two gas canisters there that'll take two 11 kilos and then we've got a little bit of storage as well there so we'll just close that up it's a really good front locker to be honest you can get absolutely loads in there then we've got the big windows the big sunroof and up on the roof there is an aerial we head down the near side it's got the silver sides it's got the blue decals what we can see here, that's our external gas point for the barbecuing. We've then got the uh, box underneath there with the electric hookup. Got a window into the lounge. We've got the door, which is a stable door. I do like the stable doors. We've got the awning light. And then you can see it is a single axle. Now, I do like a single axle, even on a longer van like this at eight meters and 19. The single axle Adria's tow incredibly well. You also only have to change your two tyres, your two wheels. It also makes it cheaper to service. You only need the single motor mover as opposed to the twin. And security wise, you only need the one Alco wheel lock or uh, other form of wheel lock, whichever you choose to use. So that saves money as well. So yeah, I must say, do not be put off by a single axle on a van like this size on Adria, these tow so well. So let's carry on. We can see here the storage locker, that's under one of the single beds, which we'll see inside. And then we've got the big window there into the bedroom. We'll have a look at the rear, but I'm going to go round the other side to do that because uh, the access isn't very good from where I've just been. So there is externally. So I say this isn't an eight foot van, uh, which does make it's a little bit uh, easier for some people to tow and those that are worried about eight foot. On this side, this is where we're going to feed the water into the caravan. We've then got the locker box, another couple of windows, the vent there for the fridge freezer, which we'll see inside. And then back here, we've got the flush, the toilet cassette, a frosted window, and We'll have a quick look at this back end. As I say, the access isn't great, I'm afraid, so I'll do my best. 
But what was new on the newer model was this amazing new light cluster and silver bumper that they introduced compared to the previous silver, silver bumper. Grab handles, we do have a high rise brake light, that's just up there in case you're wondering about that. But that is the back end. Right, that's as good as I can do on that one I'm afraid. Okay, so let's dive inside. So that's externally, so seven foot seven wide, eight meters and 19. Weight wise, it has an MT PLM of 1,750 kilos, but a really generous payload of 200 kilos. And you can up plate to 1,800 as well, which is going to give you an additional 50. So you could have up to 250 kilos on the payload, which that's amazing. So yeah, let's fire in. So in we go. Right, one thing I do like straight away is I like the stable door, I like the window and I like the bin. I do like uh, a, a bin in the door. We'll go in, I'll just take my shoes off. There we go. Right, so in we come. Go first into the lounge area. Now, the lounge is lovely and bright. You can probably see there we've got this fantastic um, sunroof. Adria, one of the first really to have these great big sunroofs. We can just see there, um, it does open a few inches, so it will let some air in. It doesn't open uh, all the way uh, open, but it does a few inches in warm weather. There is a blind on that as well and a fly screen. Same with the windows, they all have a fly screens and blinds and then they've got these silver grey curtains. The lounge area, so it is a wraparound as we can see. So it's almost like a U shape. You do get the armrests, that's here. I really like the armrests. And then up at the front here, this is a flap table. It does pull up. All you need to do is just pull that cushion forward and then you can flip it up and it's great for putting a cup of tea on. There is also a big larger table that goes in the middle here so you can all sit and eat around that. Now you'll find switches on the wall here including a dimmer and then under here we've got a little light there you can maybe see that we've got some good storage in the same so I'll open the storage cupboards up there so nice and deep and tall storage and then on this other side on the off side we've got another light and just up there is a USB charger and then on this side, this is the media controller in the Sane. The, you can put a radio, fitter radio, and there are speakers as well. So I'll just open that again there so you can see the storage that you've got there in the front of the Sane. In terms of sleeping, this area does convert into one huge great big bed. It's 217 centimetres by 154 centimetres and the bed wise these slats here these this slides out that side and that side as you may be able to see and that then converts into one huge bed so that's the lounge area what we'll do now is we'll venture into the kitchen so let me spin you back around again very gently so into the kitchen the kitchen's on the off side i'll just close that locker I think the only compromise really with the Adoras is the kitchen because the problem you've got is the lack of worktop space um, and although on the Seine you are getting a little bit just over there on the near side um, the one thing that the Adora buyers always wanted was a flap here you'll know a lot of UK manufacturers have a flap there and that extends there and everyone said the same about the Adora and sadly they just didn't do it so we never we never got our flap but we do get a, a Dometic three burner gas hob this is really good I've used that myself when I had an Adora obviously I had the Adora Isonzo so that's uh, good we don't get electric though up here we're going to find a microwave and then it's a little, the only thing with my microwave is it, it is quite high. Um, I'm five foot four and it is at my limit. You may wonder what this is. Um, I'll see if I can get one out. So this was new on the newer model. And to be honest, I just don't get it, but I'll show you it. So these go on here, little shelves. Uh, and 
little baskets so you can put stuff in there um <laughs> i don't really know what you'd put on there if i'm honest um stand by let me get another one out so there we go okay so you you'd have to take those off for towing obviously but you've put them on there they do slant down a bit so you wouldn't want to put anything on that's just going to roll off but what i do personally find i'm not just um, being you know negative i'm just being quite honest about the practicality is if i was using the sink they are just totally in the way and if i catch one of those it's going to fall off into my sink um along with everything that i've put in there so i'm just being sort of obviously honest about about how i'd find it as a user an end user um and, and i'm not getting it if you've got an adora and you've got those please put in the comments how you find it because the reality might be that it's the best invention that adria have ever come up with i'm not getting it so please do let me know right so that's the cupboards above and then we've got this pull out rack this is a massive improvement the one before um it was much thinner it was really clunky uh, and it wasn't particularly pleasurable to try and use whereas that's really nice it's soft clothes then we've got the thetford gas oven and grill and then we've got some nice drawers here so this is the cutlery one really good size I've, and they are lovely soft clothes they actually work some manufacturers try and um put soft clothes and they don't really work to be honest but these do and there's another one down there then we move along we've got the Thetford tower fridge freezer this is excellent um, above there's a little storage cupboard above this is good for putting things like your laptop in and there's also a little storage cupboard just underneath you can put whatever you want in there there's also a speaker in there and then we'll just open up the fridge freezer so we can have a look and this is why i enthuse about it so much you've got a really good sized freezer compartment there and then 140 litres altogether of fridge and freezer space. It's fantastic. It's fantastic if you're away for a week, two weeks, or you're on a seasonal pitch. So that's that. Now what I'm gonna do is just bring us round. So this is as we come in through the doorway. So the Sane has got the Alder wet central heating and we've got the control panel for the Alder there. And then we've got the Adria control panel here. The lighting's a little bit if iffy due to the sunlight i'm sorry about that but there we go so that was new for the new model because before the controls were just like a bit bit old school on this wall so that's a nice new panel now coming round we have got the bonus in the same of this worktop space you've also got pre-installation for the television bracket this is a really sturdy bracket you'll get a good sized telly on there you've got a usb uh, port just there all this worktop space and then under here this is the table for the lounge and there's some shelving as well for bits and pieces and then we move along and we find the wardrobe space so the wardrobe is a good size this is where your aerials coming in you can see here we've got the alder tank as well there is a little shelf in the bottom there so you can bob things on there and then under here that's fixed that piece of wood there that's fixed but there's a little bit of storage there and then we'll head into the bedroom now as i say this is a single bed layout privacy screen there is a privacy screen here this is it here fabric one light switches there including dimmer switches because we do have dimmable lights if you're wondering what these are for stand by because yes the excitement doesn't end there if we take our tray from the kitchen um i believe we can do that look at that um we've now got a bedroom shelf and to be honest it's probably more useful in here because you could put your mobile phone or something on there i wouldn't i don't know if i'd risk putting a cup of tea on it with it being a bit slanty but that's more practical than putting it maybe in the kitchen and as you can see that strip runs all the way around so you can do that right so these single beds these are good size they're 77 centimeters wide 
and lengthwise one of them is 207 centimeters long I believe the actual figure is which is this bed here so 207 and this one here I believe is about 196 something along those lines I had it all in my head and I've had a lot of figures today and I believe that is it so but these are these are over six feet long so really good size proper single beds unfortunately some bits on there so you can't quite see uh, fully we've got nice fabric headboards and there is also a plug socket just down there storage now as you saw there wasn't much storage in the wardrobe area apart from hanging space but we do have these amazing overhead lockers i really like that what i don't quite like is how that catches on there but i do like the storage space and there's a third one as well so you've got three we'll just back out a bit you've got three lockers there and you've got three lockers on this side I'll just see if this one catches uh, yeah that one does well so so that is obviously just have to be careful with that but we'll just close those down so excellent storage and I must say if we look under here we've got the lighting and we've got a USB charger under there and let's have a look at what we've got under here and the same under there as well so in terms of having that sort of equipment that many of us look for such as usb points lights yeah we've got them in the same so yeah excellent right let's let's venture through this door and see the uh, washroom so let's go in here so going into the rear washroom there we go okay so we find I and mean, it's very much obviously like the rest of the adora range um we've got that there is a mirror in case you're wondering that, that there that's a mirror we've got a uh, towel rail we've got a frosted window we've got the set for toilet swivel that that there is a uh, toilet brush toilet roll holder little shelf this has changed this is all new on this newer model it used to be a um, it was a fruit bowl sink um, which was like here I really like that obviously that that's gone some people didn't like it We've got a really good sized mirror. These are little lights just above it. And then we've got this newer sink, not very deep, a few inches deep. Um, swivel tap, I presume. Yeah. And under here, we're going to find some storage. This is really good storage of cupboard, loads of room in there. And then what we also find is this here. Now, don't do what I did in the Isonzo, which is try and pull it from here there is actually a little uh hook under there you pull it out and we've got some um a nice sort of rack there it is a little bit savage when you close it so just just be careful it doesn't have your hand off um so i like that shower cubicle now the shower cubicle here to here is not a massively wide space so be mindful of that if you're a larger person i'll see if i can show you it from from the floor it'll give you a better perspective that's not particularly wide to step in however once you are in it does open up quite nicely we've got a mirror in there so you can probably shave in there and just watch yourself washing your hair whatever you want to do towel rail and obviously the vent and then the shower itself this is a radiator part of the alder system and that there is a little bar for putting your towels on when obviously you're not in the shower and then we've got the sort of uh, frosty effect shower screen as well so it is actually a really nice shower space i do like the change in the color it used to just be white but they've now got this sort of more well, I call it mushroom. It's probably got a special name, but it looks a bit mushroomy to me. So there we go, the shower. And then we'll just look down into the Seine. Obviously, I have left those cupboards open, but it just gives you an idea. There's loads of floor space. This is a really nice open plan layout. I must say, um, even though it isn't eight foot wide, it feels massively spacious. So they've really delivered well on the space. And it does all look it all works really nice it flows really nicely the big sunroof it is a lovely caravan 
so there we go that is the Adria Adora Sane. It's a four berth caravan. It's got single beds and it's going to be £31,805 for 2023. So yeah, quite a price increase. Um, the five year warranty is specific to Cara. Otherwise, I think it's two or three years. I'm not sure off the top of my head from Adria. Could be two, um, but a 10 year watering ingress warranty. So there we go. Um, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. But I think I've shown you briefly the bits that you might need to know. So thanks to John at Cara for letting me come to film. I do appreciate it as always. And I appreciate that you guys have taken the time to sit and watch. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.